this is my problem. I'll play. <laughs> Taking the back off, we are going to put in these tubes from Doug'sTubes.com. Uh, I will put a link in the description if I remember. Here's the exact details of what's going into which slot. Tubes, tubes. I also noticed that this is starting to crack, or has a crack in it. So hopefully that stays together when I put the back back on. Gloves, because people be oily, and. Give her a roll here. Probably should have put these on before I started the video, but whatever. And rock and roll. Let's take everything out first. I guess I didn't need gloves for that. I should just rock right out. Like that. It's kind of gross in there. There we go. Let's check out these bad boys. Looks like a tube. Ruby 6L6G CMSTR. All right. Here's the pin. There's the pin. That's one. I guess this doesn't make for a very interesting video, does it? There's the pin. There's the pin. So ideally, we'll get some good recordings of before and after. Clean and distorted channels one and two. Pin. There's the pin. And last one of these. Put garbage where it belongs in the corner. All right. Make sure it's snug and flush. Snug and flush. Don't forget, snug and flush. Okay. Now we're going to go six to one. I do like these little spring-loaded uh, covers they got on here. A little spring in there. All right, I'm just gonna do one at a time. Let's take a look at this guy. Now I noticed, I believe it was this one, it was not, oh, we're not snug and flush. There. This one was not lighting up, but it was still making noise. Obviously it was making some noise, but rock that some out of there. Okay, so our pin is that way. Home. Come on, baby. And there it is. Pin is this way. Let me get my noggin up in there. That is a lot harder to do. You can't see everything. I do not want to bend the living crap out of these pins. I guess you could take these covers off. That might be the smart way to go. You know what? Let's take the bad tube, put it over here, put the good tube, put it right there. Let's see how hard this is. Oh no! 
I'm sorry, world. Okay. Okay, we're back. Ooh. All right, got one screw out. I really don't want to take all these out. We're gonna try one more time. Empty pin is that way. Empty pin is that way. Line it up. This is probably easier, like, you know, on a table or something where your head is not up against the floor. All right, that's in. So control Z, that whole taking the screws out thing. Let's go put that bad boy right back in there. Nice and easy. I'm sure I got great, uh, got great hair today. Didn't even look. Yeah, I got some great gloves too. That's well, you almost spent. Um, and we'll put the cover back on. Snug and flush. Snug and flush. All right. Where is the contraption for this? There it is. And boop. Okay. V6 is done. Do some V5. Alberto, Alberto VO5. Come on, baby. I didn't want to come off so nice. If I, and they are slightly different. Yeah, they mixed them up between the, so the old V6 was the GT, and the old V5, you probably can't see it, 12AX7, focus, who needs it, right? You know what, I'm going to move these old tubes out of the way, because I'm probably going to kneel on them. That would be bad. All right, so V5, the 7025. Foam bit and a nice pretty tube. HG. Got mercury in it? <laughs> Dumb joke. All right. Get my noggin back in here. I think you can line it. Wait, are they actually lined up so the words go straight in? Are they that nice? Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's lining up. All right. Put our springy business back on. Springy business. This one was kind of a. Uh, yeah, it's. There we go. Pop. All right. Before. Come on. Eh. Another GT12 AX7. Let's put that in the uh, garbage pile. Garbage. Garbage. This is a 12 AX. So this is basically a one up replacement. Eh. Garbage. And again, the label just faces. Right the way you want it to. Pins look relatively straight. Mm -hmm. Amy? No, nope, I just bent the crap out of it. Come on. And the pins to the back. Make sure we're all good here. That guy goes in right there. Yes? No? Maybe? Yeah, these are not straight. Oh yeah, they bend pretty easily. Note to self or to anyone else. Take your time. All right. Yeah, this does not look right. There's a little play in there. You can get away with a little bit of a little bit of shenanigans. Oh, that one's not straight either. Whew. Okay. Boy. Um, all right. Well, here goes nothing. Keeps bending. Yeah, it's to the back. That's what I get for having the second one go so easily. All right, we're doing it downtown style. Actually, this isn't too bad. Mm. Straighten everything back up. Don't want to bend these too many times because it'll break right off. And that will be the end of my fun. All right, I can kind of see everybody now. Ah, yeah, okay. And springy cover. Good and tight, flush, snug and flush, flush and snug. Okay, V3. Boink. Another GT, get that out of there. 
garbage pile. V3, it's the Jan. Yep, Jan Phillips, Jan Terry, Michael Phillips, Michael Phelps. Garbage. All right, these pins look okay. But you know what? This whole laying down thing kind of worked. V3, okay. Yeah. You know, doing this on a table or a bench probably make more sense, but. Is that in? Is that good? No, I don't know. Pins, pins, pins. Nobody's happy. It feels like it wants to go in. There it goes. I sure hope that worked. Okay. Ah, oh, I did it again! I'm using a, I'm using a music stand. As a, as a, yeah, this is, okay. And there we go. Cover up V3 again with the spring of goodness. Right by that. Where's my cover? Come on, baby. Go the other way. I don't think it matters, but it's been beat up over the years. I'm like, give it a good twisty lock. Twisty lock spring. All right, V2. Well, I can run off. This is a 12, 12AX7. Bloop. And there's a little map over here. Maybe I'll show you that in a second. 12A is a 12 and HD. Yep. Just follow my instructions here because Lord knows I don't know what I'm doing. Garbage. Got garbage out of the way. Tube. All right, we're back to a label. These pins that look pretty good. Let's get the springy out of the way. some of these but I think we're okay nope I don't like that one okay of course I'm probably just making it worse oh yeah butter I knew I was gonna do it again we're almost done we're almost done okay Spring cover, twist and lock, pop and lock. Last one, V1. It's a 12AX, right? No, GT12, yeah, GT12AX, they said. All right, so the tubes that were in there, V5 and V6 were the GTs. V1 through V4 were all of these, the GT12AX. Close of the uh, ones that were in there. Are we gonna get focus? Maybe. Uh, it says uh, GT6L6B. All right, so those are the old ones. I'm not gonna step on. I promise. And last tube. Okay. Garbage. Tube. Garbage. And you know we're not gonna mess with these pins. We're just gonna plug it in. Or try to plug it in. Bona. Oh, I didn't knock it over this time. Spring of goodness. Pop and lock. Alright, that's it. We're done. Get these dumb gloves off. Oh, I'm sweaty in there. Gross. Alright, so. Old tubes. Uh, garbage. Alright, so. These look pretty good. They look like tubes. Here's a little map. I don't know how long I can get in there. Bring the light over. So, this shows what it was. It's the old uh, seal number. All right, we'll give it a power up test, see what happens. Okay, we are ready to go. Uh, just for purposes of whatever, I'm playing on Telecaster with Seymour Duncan pickup, and the distortion will be running through this OCD with those settings. Not doing any of this stuff. So let's just turn that off. Get this guy lined up. Let's do standby. No power. Nothing exploded yet, so that's good. You got we got glow on the tubes. I don't know if you can see that. You can see a little bit there. Alright, so that's it's a good sign. Give that a second warm up. Uh, let's get old tubes out of the way. I know I'm gonna kneel on those. I'm gonna have just glass shards in me at some point. All right, um, let's grab Mr. Guitar. 
Guitar volume is up, pedal volume is down, and here we go. And that's the same noise I heard from my pedal before. I think it's a noise in the power. So I'm going to ignore that for now, hopefully, and turn the guitar pedal volume up. Yeah, see, now the noise went away. Yeah. All right. So the amp, all the tone controls are at detent. The volume's between two and three. I've got the brightness off because it's just terrible. See? Um, all right, so this is channel two. This is the vibrato channel. Oops, I should probably turn things up. So here's some recordings I made before and after the tube swap. Uh, I noticed the amp is a little bit louder with the new tubes, which is a good thing, uh, but it means the levels weren't exactly right. So I had to adjust the OCD volume and amplifier volume to try to match them. So the gain isn't exactly the same, uh, but take a listen.
So just to show you the front side, these were the settings that I had during the recordings. All the tone controls were set to five or detent, and all the reverb settings were about three. Brightness is always off. Uh, volumes between two and three. Not sure how well it picks up on YouTube, but there was definitely a whine, like a six kilohertz whine, coming out of the amp uh, with the old tubes, which is now gone. And that persisting hum is also gone. So worth the effort, uh, worth the money, worth the time. Sounds a lot better. And I hope you enjoyed the video.